Okay, here we are, the third question from the recent um, trade test. This time we're looking at New Zealand as a price taker, or what is known as the one country model. In this case, we're going to look at them as an exporter and an importer. Okay, like all the questions, you little have a resource. Um, in this case, the resource is probably slightly more important than the other two questions. Um, it's giving you a bit of data. Crude oil imports are down 1.6 billion. And that's quite significant compared to 2014. You will need to refer back to that, or at least keep that in mind, when you start the next set of questions. First question, pretty standard. We're going to um, explain the decrease in the, in the world price of crude oil um, on the level of imports. And you're going to have a graph, and you're going to explain the graph. So this is a number typical set of questions. In this case, we're going to compare two different graphs and see which one is greater or smaller. Again, like question two, sometimes this could be do a world pro, um, import or export model and then explain the impact on various stakeholders, like question two. Um, in that sense, you'd answer it very much like question two and just go through the various stakeholders one by one. In this case, though, we're looking at comparing the causes of um, trade rather than the effects. So here's our market. We're going to have a decrease in price of oil. Well, Currently, PW is below equilibrium, so we're an importer. Um, we can see that as M. And then price falls, all right, so that means PW1 is below PW. And we can now find, of course, now new coin demanded, new coin supply, and our new imports. Pretty straightforward graph, keep it neat, keep it clean. In terms of explaining it, first thing you want to do is just give us the effect on imports. M to M1, that's what the question is asking for, so get away with and you know, start by stating the very obvious. In the reasoning explanation, um, we are trying to figure out well, what's happened at PW1. How is PW1 different from PW? course if we're importing at PW or PW1 there was a shortage between what the quantity demanded is and what the quantity supplied is. In this case the shortage will increase from QD1 minus QS1 compared to the previous QD minus QS. Because the shortage has increased that means we need to import more to meet the increased shortage. Note in the answer I'm using as many data or labels from the graph as I possibly can. Very straightforward answer. Make sure you include a shortage idea. Now, as I said, this is a compare and contrast of causes. So the next part is we're going to have a decrease, uh, increase in the world price of innocent in exports. Please note in the actual question, we have this little note here about the world price of oil, which decrease in the value of oil imports. That will be important for the excellence question later. It will help us guide us in which way what things are going to do. But first, increase in world price of innocent in exports. Draw a graph, explain that graph. Let's have a look. Here's our graph. PW is now above equilibrium, so we're exporting the country. QS is greater than QD. Here's our exports. Increase the world price. Our QS therefore increases, or supply, QD decreases, or demand, and our exports will increase to X1. Putting that into an explanation, like the previous one, to make a point, the first bullet point is to um, state what has happened. Level exports has increased, X to X1, and then we explain it. And this time, of course, because the world price is above equilibrium, we have a surplus. But now we can export the surplus. And the increased surplus means that the exports are going to increase. Taking this from our use of labels. Like the previous question, pretty standard. Keep it short, keep it simple. Now the question did also ask us about current account. So somewhere in our trade questions, one, two, or three from exchange rate, two country models or price takers, we will have a current account question in there in terms of the effects on it. Now in this question we have another chance for a merit 
because we're going to explain the effect of increased exports on the current account balance. And we know export receipts in terms of innocent is the balance of goods. The balance of goods increase, then, well, smaller deficit in New Zealand's current account. You are expected to know that New Zealand generally has a deficit on the current account, as per explanations in class. Now the excellence question is a bit more long-winded than the other two. We're trying to compare and contrast two different models and to say how is it going to affect our current account. Now both of them will actually increase the current account. This is where that note on oil was very important in the question. The value of oil imports will decrease. Prices falling is obviously greater than the increase in quantity of imports. So therefore the value of imports has decreased. That's going to make our using the balance of goods better. The end component will decrease, and that will improve the current account. Obviously, the exports increasing, that's price and quantity, and therefore you're going to get an improvement in the current account anyway. So both of them improve the current account. Now, which is going to be greater? Well, here's your judgment you have to make. You do need to have some experience or some idea of what's going on using the economy. We're going to make the judgment that Oil is relatively more important than the economy than in exports. A pretty safe judgment. Um, you probably find that that sort of question is won't be too difficult for you to interpret. Both improve the current account, but larger improvements going to come from oil imports. Read the question. Read the answer. Quite complex, but in the end, we're making a judgment once again. Make a judgment. Rationalize the judgment. That's the excellence question. Okay, thank you. Hope the three questions we've done here give you an idea of what the questions will look like in the exam. Obviously, there'll be slight changes. Who knows which one's going to be the effects, which one's going to be the causes, but the overall pattern will be similar.